Hello everybody, I'm Oxfu, and welcome to my very first Sega Classic Summer Game uh, by Virgin Software and Delphine Software. It is out of this world. Uh, now, quick little disclaimer uh, before we get started. This was not a game that was originally released on the Genesis. It is a port. I believe it's a DOS port. But I first played it on my friend's Genesis, so that's how we're going to play it. Now, before we get going, there's a little bit of intro stuff from the Diary of Lester Knight. Uh, Jaken. I'm using a period of rest to record some information. I'm separated from my companion. I know not how long I have been lost. Luckily, I found a weapon that can blast a hole in almost anything I find. Many guards roam these corridors. I must be moving along before I... Okay, now this is the intro video I was talking about. So, what I have got, what I have gotten from this intro, because I, I never read a game booklet or anything for backwards for backstory, is that we're going into some sort of science bunker. That we're a professor of science of some sort. But wait until you see this guy's lab. This is this is this is bananas. Oh my god, I've got Nesquik chocolate milk, you know, because classic Sega Summer makes me feel like a kid. Because <laughs> I, I never actually owned a Genesis or a Sega Master System or any of those, but my friends did. And most of these games are games that I play, most of the games that I'm going to be doing classic Sega Summer games of are games that my friends had. So, see, good evening, Professor. I see you have driven here in your Ferrari, because you, obviously a professor, have that kind of money. Oh my god, look at that 3D computer that's so high tech, oh my god, oh my god, look at these graphics. It's the future, man. Um, anyway, it looks like we're just running a few routine tests to get this experiment running. Looks like the Large Hadron Collider or something like that. Yeah, you know, trying to cr create some antimatter. Yeah, drink a beer. Or a soda. Because <laughs> we're so cool. I mean, we're a professor, got our Ferrari, got our beer. And look, we're, we're just sitting right in front... We were just sitting right in front of our experiment. We don't need any. Now, I love this. I love this. Watch. So... Lightning, well, it, it's going to strike in a second. Lightning strikes a concrete bunker, and somehow it goes down into the collider, and somehow that affects the collider that would be magnetically shielded. And he's sitting right in front of the end of the collider? I mean, what kind of person does that? I mean, come on. You want us to expect your professor? It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. <laughs> We're going to go right in. So we have... Like I said, out of this world, it's called another world in uh, Europe. Now, if you don't swim up, boom, you're dead. <laughs> um, so, A, B, or C. So this time, instead of doing that, we're going to swim right up to the surface before we die. Huh, what's that black thing in the back? I don't think it'll be dangerous or anything. All right, so... You have rocks falling. There's nothing we can do over here. Uh, you have, I believe, A and B both run. And using A and B, you can also do a little kick thing. Is that going to kill us if it if we had stayed there? Um, <clears throat> and I believe C is jump, yeah. It's kind of like Prince of Persia in a way. It's got the whole rotoscope feel to it. But... This is the best thing. So you see these little snakes, right? This little little slug snake things, right? No big deal, right? Just kick them, right? But here's the thing. Everything in this world will kill you. So if you miss one, you just walk up to it. We get a little scratch and we're dead. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So instead, we're going to try to swim up. Try to, try to get away. Now, you can jump over these guys, but I'm going to kick them, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, it's kind of... Oh, see, I held down B, and I ended up running into it. It's 
a little touchy, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. It's just going to take me a second to just get into the feel of things. Now, you ha might have noticed, though, when I was running and I let go of the forward button, I did a little slide kick thing. You can do that, too. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really use it because you have the bad habit of running into things if you do that. Yeah, see, again, dead. <laughs> Fortunately, it doesn't bring you too far back, so it's not bad. Let's go for one more try. Because I, I do want to get at least past this first scene, just because... Whoa! Man, you gotta look out for them above, because they will kill you. I don't know what happens if they actually fall on you, but I'm not about to find out. Alright, three more. Oh, four more. Oh, more than that. Oh no, we're gonna get cornered! That's a lot of those guys. More than I remember. Alright, so looks like we're good, right? Oh crap. It's a demon beast, run! Oh my god, it looks like he's gonna catch up with us. I bet he won't trip or anything. Oh, he tripped, never mind. I'm actually gonna let him kill me though. <laughs> Just because I want to show it, because the deaths in this are as much fun as actually playing the game. Because like I said, everything pretty much kills you. I mean, there's some th times that'll get annoying because, well, let's be honest, you just <laughs> you just don't want to die to these slugs like 50 billion times, but for like small little things like that, where it's you're only going to see that beast probably once this game, I'm going to show it off. But then of course I, I gotta keep dying to these guys, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, because I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get past this guy, or am I? I'm just going to... Keep dying to these five leeches. <laughs> that's what they look like to me. They look like leeches. So that's what always what I thought they were, just with like a big tooth for some reason. <laughs> All right, only a couple more. Don't worry, we're not gonna just be going through all of this just kicking people in the shins. We do get a weapon eventually. What? I was kicking at you. <laughs> oh, dead again. I was not expecting this many deaths, but whatever. You can also uh, jump over them. Uh, that is entirely possible. Oh, come on. Not cool, man. But I don't recommend it just because, as you saw earlier, we're going to have to run back through. So if you just jump over them, you kind of screw yourself over. Just uh, take your time, unfortunately. No fast way to get through these guys. Just keep doing the kicks. All right, one screen down. Let's get through these guys. Well, fortunately, we can just kick them once, too, and they're dead. Alright, and last one. Nope, one more, one more. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Now we're cooking with... Uh, with. <laughs> now we're cooking with petrol. Because <laughs> I know last time I said cooking with gas, our Rock Paper Mario was like, Ah, oh, we don't say that around here. Alright. And there we go. So we just swing back, and... Well, is he chasing after us? I think we might have gotten away. Oh no, there he is! Crap! Oh no! We're, no, we're dog food! Oh! Oh! Hey! Friends? In such an alien place? I love the, I love the expression on his face. It's just like, yo. How's it going? He's just like, I'm not having any of this. What? What? Craziness. Who would have thought they would have shot us with? Like, they looked really friendly. <laughs> oh my god, rotoscoping animation. I love you so much. Alright, so... Just like the... 
puzzle with the cage in Final Fantasy IX or other things. I can't think of another one because I haven't played any other games recently that have these kinds of puzzles. We're gonna just rock back and forth until we get out. Now, I don't know if you can actually get out without this guy shooting in the air. I've tried before, but it doesn't seem to work. And he always calls over that guard behind him. But hey! Looks like he's not going to be shooting in the air any longer, is he? <laughs> I, never, I, I still don't know what he's saying. It's just like, nah, do do that. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to be James Bond all up in this place. Now, you do want to just hang out here. You want to keep this guy alive. This Your, your friend right here. Uh, you can do a single shot just by tapping the button. If you hold, you actually create a force field. Which can be quite helpful. Come on. Because, yeah, they can sh they can kill you in one shot. <laughs> quite the powerful phaser they do have. Unfortunately, at this point, you are just being sent back here. I don't know. I don't think there's any other save points this close. But it gets kind of annoying. <laughs> just because you do wish there was, like, just one save point, just so you didn't have to do this uh, rocking puzzle every single time. But it is so satisfying to land on that guy. All right, so I think I'm going to get through to another place before I end off this video. All right. Shield. Kill him. Um, I think we can actually run past here as well. Oh. But there is a guy that will come out like that. So I'm going to put up another shield just so we can take out his one shield. They also decay with time, so we were... We will kill him first. Uh, but I believe there's a second guy, so I'm just going to put up that shield as well. Come on, man, hack that terminal faster. You're no match for, like, C-3PO. Put up another, because ours is almost gone. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Let's make our escape. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're at some sort of elevator shaft or something. Now, best part is that... Oh, I didn't mean to go down. They will not follow you into this elevator shaft, which is really good, actually, because otherwise, I don't know what I'd do. I'd freak out, man. So now we have that other world in front of us. Looks almost like Mordor. Almost expecting Sauron's eye to be on top of that tower. <laughs> All right, so let us go downstairs, see what we can see. Alright, what's over here? Um, looks like nothing. I mean, I don't think I can get... No, I can't get past this door. Oh. Let's see if there's anything farther down, shall we? Oh, whoa, whoa. Get over here. <laughs> don't want to leave our fellow prisoner buddy behind, do we? Alright. Now this, I believe you want to actually just walk over. Actually, I think you want to let the f your guy go first. No? Okay. So just walk over and... Oh, man. I am never able to kill that guy for some reason or another. Just because he, he, he's, he's too quick. I don't know if you're supposed to jump. So that he misses you because he does a crouch shot? Or what you're supposed to do. But for some reason, I, I, I'm really bad at getting that guy. And it's been so long since I played this game, I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm going to try it one more time, I think. And then we'll call it a day, don't, won't we? There we go. Oh my god, it's 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 re it really is so satisfying to land on that guy. I don't know what he's saying. It's like, nice to hoop on. Do you have some coupons? 
Right, I think you can also just crouch down here because he'll miss you, and I don't believe he can hit your your friend. But I don't know. It just it just it almost feels like a better idea. Oh crap! Well, we're 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 doomed. That's a, that's all there is to it. There there was no way we could do anything. Our our buddy died. And we need him to open the door. Oh well. So, anyway, that guys is a little intro to Out of This World. Um, another world was as it was called in Europe. Uh, I hope you like this little classic Sega Summer video, and I hope to see you all soon. Uh, I, OXFU, hope to see you all soon with another classic Sega Summer video. Oh, come on, one more time. I want to crush this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so satisfying. All right, so I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. After I get my gun. Yeah!